everyone. Okay, so um, today I'm going to be talking about a horrible thing that is rife in pretty much every industry almost. Uh, it is fakes. So um, some people may have heard a lot of controversy just recently in Australia about Mac being at Target and that all seems very interesting. Um, but I'm not talking about that today. I'm talking about fake Urban Decay. So um, basically I bought uh, the Naked 2 palette, which I love. I got this from a recommended um, seller, and that's what it looks like. You all know and love. It's very gorgeous. Um, yeah, so I got this. My sister has the original Naked, excuse me, as I do as well, and she saw this and fell in love and decided to look into buying it. So I told her to go to beautybay.com and get it from there because it was like $55 and it's free shipping so it's a really great deal. It does take like a month and a half of stuff to get to me from Beauty Bay but it's worth it. Sorry if I look red here, I was holding Henry's like, like scratched the living daylights out of my neck. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah so she went on eBay, she went against what I said but that's fine. Um, and she's like, okay, I found an awesome deal. I'm, I just bought it, $35 for a Naked 2 palette. And I said, okay, I guarantee you that is going to be fake. As much as I didn't want it to be fake because, you know, she's just spent $35 on it. I thought, there's no way. Uh, recommended retail price for the Naked 2, if you are unaware, is $50 uh, in the US. So there's no way someone you know, could could be selling it for $35, $15 underneath the recommended retail price. Just no way! Uh, so this is the fake palette. I asked if I could borrow it from my sister. She uh, basically emailed the lady, the eBay seller, and eventually got it out of her that yes, it was a fake. And then the lady didn't actually want to send her the palette because she thought she'd be left bad feedback. Uh, and my sister looked online, she said she saw some good reviews of the fake palette. Um, so she just went, look, I don't care, uh, just send me the palette. And really, my sister isn't like as into makeup as I am, so she really didn't care. Uh, she just thought, well, if they're good quality, who cares about that? But I was explaining to her that it's not just about quality, it is about the unregulated uh, ways in which they're made and what they use in the products. Some people, you know, you can go blind, like temporarily or permanently from certain things. You don't want to put strange chemicals near your eyes and like on your on your skin because, you know, you have poor, poor skin so everything seeps in and you just, you don't really want to use anything that you don't know what's in it. Uh, so, okay, so this is the fake one. And those are the colours here. Um, as you can see, it's looks relatively good by itself uh, but the moment you're holding it you can really tell like this is definitely fake it feels a lot lighter and uh, so this is the real one here and the real one if you can see is a slight touch darker and also on the back it has a little sticker thing there and the font is slightly different as well so okay We'll get into the brush next door. Hello, Deneen. Okay, so let's get into the brushes first of all. Uh, this is the fake Urban Decay Naked 2 brush. You can see there. And if you can see there, it did actually come like that with it just sticking out awkwardly. And it's got like some sort of weird powder stuff that comes out of it, which doesn't look very right to me. My real Naked um, 2 brush did have that, but it went away like I did once. It was a tiny bit, and it went, went away. But this keeps doing it. It's kind of worrying me. Um, and what you can feel from the fake one is it's really not dense. Like, it can just push down like lightly and just collapses. It's not dense at all for blending. Um, okay, so this is the real one. I will show them up next to each other. The real one is here, and that's the fake one. And if you can see, they're slightly different color as well, like the actual, the, the handle here. And this is the real one, that's the fake one. I'm trying to hold them up like that. There we go. Ooh. Okay, sorry, I'm holding Henry with one hand, I'm trying to do this. It's very difficult. Alright, so the real one is a lot more dense and it's almost a little bit pointed at the top for, for blending. And then this one doesn't have some freaky dust stuff coming out of it and it's also a lot more dense as well 
So, and also something, it just looks dodgy, like the fake one, it just doesn't look very well made at all. And for the writing to match up, you can see the fake one is at the bottom and it's at the opposite end, the brushes don't match up right. So that's a little bit dodgy right there. So just to show you a quick swatch here, I will be inserting um, slides of the fake um, pictures of the eyeshadows now and I'm also doing a thorough blog post on this if you want to see everything and I'll have to play the video over and over again to see the swatches it will be on a, on a blog post for you but just a quick swatch here I only lightly touched this is the fake blackout that's the real blackout so you can see from that you know the quality just really isn't even there and use the fake one um, as she said within about a couple of hours probably less there was like no eyeshadow left on her eyelid at all and she had used a primer and um, yeah it just seemed very dodge I don't even like touching the fake ones because honestly I don't even know what's in them and I'm just a little bit paranoid about swatching them so I can't imagine putting them on my eyes but she didn't have any adverse reactions to um, the product on her eyes or anything like that so that's always good I guess she got lucky there. Okay, so basically, um, the lady selling this, I think my sister just doesn't really care. But uh, if I see any fake stuff on eBay, I do actually report it because I, like years ago, before I really knew about anything about makeup, I bought a MAC eyeliner. And when I got it, it was plastic and in a square container, like the e.l.f. ones, uh, compared to the real MAC. Uh, I'll show you right now. I have a real one right here. The real one is in a glass jar and it is round, so obviously it didn't match up. They were nice, they just ended up um, refunding my money. I gave them positive feedback and I said thank you for refunding my money for the fake product, but I still made it positive so they didn't suck about it. Um, but I did let you know everyone know that it was actually a fake product, so you, you really do. And it was very obviously fake, like I used it and I was always told that MAC would set and you couldn't like smudge it off very easily and this one just didn't set at all, it was just like smeary and greasy and it was just awful um, so yeah it was a really bad fake <laughs> uh, okay so I have seen some other fake Naked 2 palettes on eBay for like $35 and um, I've never really cared that much because in the actual description they say that this is a fake product and in their own words they do say you know it's not a real product they have made them they have nice quality la 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 basically but they do let you know that isn't a genuine article and that's fine but this lady it really annoyed me because she was trying to sell it as the genuine article and was like oh I just yeah I bought these overseas and I'm just selling them because um, it's so much cheaper over there but as you know as I just previously stated it's fifty dollars in America so you can't exactly be making a profit by selling it at $35. Um, and also, just a quick note, you can already see this hasn't really been used at all. It's just been sitting here and it's already scratched um, off the number two there. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Please comment and subscribe and let me know what you think. And if you have encountered any fake products, um, yeah. Okay, so have a lovely day, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!